Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be covering everything that you need to know to get started using Modec, starting with an overview of what Modec actually is. So Modec is a tool and online platform that essentially allows you to open the doors of your After Effects projects to allow anyone with an internet connection the ability to engage with the motion design templates that you've created. Basically, it allows you to make After Effects templates that can be published online so that anyone you invite can adjust any of the values and properties that you've exposed for that template. And then those online editors will have their videos rendered and sent straight to their inbox. All done through an easy to use online interface and a desktop app that manages all the rendering on your PC in the background. So you can basically make an After Effects template, then share it online with your clients, producers, team members, allowing them to make as many videos as they like using your template pretty much giving anyone you want the power to make their own video content without the back and forth. Very useful if you have a team that outputs a lot of standardized content or you offer your clients video templates and want to let them use those templates however and whenever they please. Just about any editable property in After Effects can be made editable online with Modec. This includes text elements, drop down menus, slider values, as well as the ability to make footage items such as images and videos replaceable by files uploaded online. On top of that are the video versioning features that give online editors the ability to connect any of the editable properties of your template to spreadsheet data, allowing them to generate a whole lot of customized versions of a video all at once, all driven by data. Also, if you know your way around expressions in After Effects, you'll realize that you can make some pretty powerful and adaptable video templates by connecting any number of properties in your project to something like a slider control, then exposing that slider value to be editable online with Modec. Or, for example, you could expose a drop-down menu in your project and have that drop-down affect the entire color scheme or layout. The possibilities of what you can give online editors control of are pretty much endless, making Modec quite a powerful tool for collaboration and automating large-scale content creation. To get started creating online templates for Modec, you'll first need to download and install the desktop app. The app acts similar to something like the Dropbox app or the Google Drive app in that it runs in the background in your system tray. Click on the icon to show the app window. Much like Dropbox and Google Drive, the app uses a sync folder. This folder is where you simply place your After Effects motion graphics templates, i.e. MoGit files exported from After Effects, to share them online. All you need to do once the app is installed and running is add a subfolder to your sync folder and add MoGit files to it. This collection of MoGit files will instantly become an editable online template. That's it. Getting started is designed to be really simple and intuitive. If you already know how to create MoGit files in After Effects, then you pretty much already know how to create online templates for Modec. To create a MoGit in After Effects, start by opening the Essential Graphics panel. Any property of your project that you would like to expose and make editable can be either dragged into the Essential Graphics panel, or you can right-click on the property, then select Add Property to Essential Graphics. Ensure that the poster defined in the Essential Graphics panel for the MoGit is correct by moving the playhead in your timeline to the appropriate point, then click Set Poster Time. Once you're all set up and all the properties that you would like to make editable online have been added, click Export Motion Graphic Template. A single Modec template is simply a collection of one or more MoGit files. To make a new template, or a deck as we call it, make a folder in your sync folder, then export MoGit files into that folder. The name of that folder will become the name of this deck. Invite others by entering their email in the deck settings. On the online editor, your invited users can now drag and drop these mogits to arrange them in sequence and adjust their editable properties to create a video. You can also limit the number of mogits that can be placed in a sequence through the deck settings. The desktop app handles the rendering of edits entirely in the background and works straight out the box, but it's quite useful to understand what it does to render edits. So when a render is requested by the online editor, or when you click render on the desktop app, the app will generate an AEP file for that edit. This AEP file will be placed into a watch folder that exists in your sync folder. Once it has been placed there, the desktop app will launch Adobe Media Encoder, which will automatically have this watch folder added into its settings. So basically Media Encoder will now automatically pick up the AEP that it sees in the watch folder and start rendering it. Once done, the app will pick up the finished render and send it to the relevant editor. Now, the interesting thing about this approach is that since we're using a standard watch folder in Media Encoder, we can actually add our own additional output settings to the watch folder. So you can set it up so that not just an MP4 file gets rendered, but also, say, an uncompressed MOV file as well. 
What you could also do is set it to output that MOV file to a shared Google Drive folder or Dropbox folder so that anytime someone using your modec template online renders a video, an uncompressed MOV of that edit will also appear in that shared folder, instantly available for them to use. Another interesting thing to note here is that you can also use Media Encoder's built-in publishing features to set it up so that anytime an edit is rendered, it can be published to a Facebook page, to a YouTube channel, an FTP server, and several other publishing options that are built into Encoder. So Modec uses standard Mogut files. You don't have to do anything special to a Mogut file before you place it in your sync folder. But there are some extra features that can be added to your Moguts that are quite handy to enhance the features of your online templates. These are added in the form of what's called Modec commands. These are properties or comments that are added in your essential graphics panel and named in a certain way to enable certain features or enhancements to that Mogut when used in Modec. You can view the full list of Modec commands in the documentation that can be found at modec.io. Using a modic command is how you make an image or video item in your project replaceable via media uploaded online. You do this by adding a comment to your modic in the essential graphics panel. Then title this comment modic-media- and then the name that you would like to call this option. The value for this comment must be the full file name of the item in your project panel that you would like to make replaceable. Some other useful commands are the duration editable command. This allows you to make the duration of this modic editable online. There's also the modec base command, which allows you to make it possible to have this moget play under all other mogets for the duration of the video. Adding the word multi-line, then dash, before the name of a text input will make the online text input have multiple lines. And there are several other commands, with this list expanding as the tool grows and is developed further. Another interesting enterprise feature of modec is its video versioning capabilities meaning you can use it to generate many versions of a video, each with different options and data. This data is entered in the form of a spreadsheet. An online editor can upload a spreadsheet through the editor's settings. Once the spreadsheet has been uploaded, a link button will now appear next to almost all options. Clicking this button allows an editor to link that option to a column of their spreadsheet. Now, when this edit is rendered, it will render several videos, one for each row of the spreadsheet, inputting each column's data into the appropriate options. These videos will then be sent to the editor in a zip file. So hopefully this video has given you a good idea and overview of what Modic is and how you can get started using it. And hopefully I've also shown you what makes it quite an exciting and powerful tool. It's also an ever-expanding tool with new features being added often.